Hey guys, you're Marta Geek. In this video, I wanted to share with you guys a hands on look of Pixlr X, which is a free photo editing software that is only usable on browsers, right? Uh, you can use this on any browser. Right now, I'm going to be using it in Chrome browser. But if you use it in um, Microsoft Edge browser, it actually works pretty damn nice and smooth as well. But since I use mostly Chrome browser, that's where I'm going to show you guys how it actually works. Now, keep in mind, this, of course, uh, is available for um, mobile devices as well, which um, is the one application that I use for photo editing on my phones. And I really, really, really love it. Uh, but this has a feature here in browser that you cannot do on a mobile devices which that's why i'm showing you guys here also keep in mind if you use dropbox you can also edit images using pixel pixel or x on Dropbox as well. So that's another cool thing. Also, if you've been using Pixlr for free on um, the browser, it's right here, this one right here. But this one, like you see, it actually requires Flash to be installed right now. Um, if I hit continue, it tells me to open up um, a Flash, but I don't wanna use it not right now. Let me go ahead. Yeah, let's go ahead and see. So you have, have an idea how it is. So this is the old photo editor from Pixlr which is totally free. You can choose an image there once you open it up. It almost looks familiar to Adobe Photoshop, something like that, right? But of course, let's go back over here to the photo editor right there. I have it saved in my browser. And right now, if you want to start working on an image, you can either choose from here, which is really cool that you can choose. A, for example, I could choose this image and it opens up the photo editor right away. You can close right away here. And this is really, really cool that you can choose images from right there and it takes you right here to the photo editor, which is really, really damn cool. But we wanna use your own photos, right? So let's go and choose an image here. And I'm just gonna choose an image uh, from my drive. Let's say I'm doing a, thumb a thumbnail for my, you know, for my YouTube channel. So I'm gonna choose this image right there from Kingdom Hearts. It opens up the image and like you see here, you have a couple options like fill, one by one, one by three. Here, it actually lets you compare the ed edited image with the original image. Uh, click here again, it fits the image completely. Now, over here it has a couple options like arrange. It says change image, canvas size, move, transform. Uh, over here, crop and rotate, self-explanatory. Adjust, change colors, light smooth, blah, blah, blah. Effects, use pre-made pre -made effects to change the look and feel of bitmap. Uh, add text and add images. This one, I'm gonna go ahead and start right here because I really, really like this feature. Uh, click right here, right, to add an image. Uh, let's say I wanna add an image from, okay, right here. Let's say I wanna add the cover of this game on my thumbnail. I could just add it like that and I could just move it, resize it, move it wherever I want. So that's the cool thing about this that you cannot do on the mobile photo editing app that I've been trying to do and you can't do it. Uh, so this is really cool. And over here, like you can see, you can see the layers of the images added. So if I add another image here, right? If I add this image, right? We go ahead and resize it again. And I can move it over here if I want, right? I can add another image and you can just keep on adding images and look how easy and smooth it actually works. And while you see that I'm adding images here, you can see that over here is also adding layers as well. So let's say I wanna add, um, um, eliminate this one. I could just go ahead and click right there, right here, boom, and it eliminates that layer. Or you can also use the keyboard delete key and it'll actually delete it as well. So that's one cool thing that this has to offer that I really, really, really like. Uh, another cool thing here is editing, uh, no, adding text. So I wanna add a text right away. Let's say here, I wanna add my name, right? Mark and uh, Geek, right? So here I can just go ahead and edit this like that, right? I could go ahead and put it like that. Uh, I can also, this right here has a whole bunch of fonts. Look at all the fonts that are available here to use, which is awesome. That's really, really damn cool. But one of the fonts that I really like is this one says, Adios Amigos, that right there. 
Um, and of course I can resize it as well here as well. Look at that. I can go ahead and resize it like that. And go ahead and edit this right there and move it. Let's go ahead and move it over here. Let's go ahead and put it over here, right? Um, also, if I want to keep adding text, all you gotta click click right there again. Over here, testing. Ed, ed, edit her. There you go. And I could go ahead and click like that. And now I could go ahead and choose another image or another font. Go ahead and leave that right there like that. But like you see here, you can change whatever font you want. You could choose whatever font you want. And it's really, really damn cool. So if I want to choose this one right here, like see that you could see the changes in real time, which is so freaking awesome. But let's go and choose this one because it's a little bit similar to the one that I'm using over here. And you can also change the colors as well if you want. And you can also choose this section right here as well and choose colors. Or you can also enter your own code color code at there as well if you want and of course you got line spacing if you want to change the line spacing here letter spacing as well uh, background if you want to add a background to the photo you could do like that and you change the color of the background and you can also hear outline so if you want to add an outline with different color you can go and change the size of the outline as well. But it's going to take that out. Shadow as well. So if you want to add some shadow to your text, you can also do that as well. But right now, I'm just going to go ahead and turn all this off. And that's it. So all you got to do is move things around. So if you want to just put that right there, that's really cool right there. Also, what you can do here is apply effects. So if you want to add so specific effects to a color here, let's go like Frost, and Vegas, you see there. And you can compare over here how it looks before and after. But let's, let's go ahead and reset and go back. So if you want to add different filters, you could do that there as well. Um, over here, uh, this is where you're going to out um, tune the colors of all the images here. And what's cool here is that, for example, if I want, if I want to choose this right here, when I change the color of that, I could just choose that and start changing the color there. And, you know, like I add exposure, add brightness, and it just affects that. That's really damn cool. So you, I could keep on adding a lot of stuff here, like sharpen. I want to sharpen the image there, um, blur, smooth, haze, so on, so on, toning. So like, see there, there's a lot of things I can actually do here on this little image if I want. And I could do, go ahead, same thing over here, go saturation, apply it there a little bit, a little bit more vibrance right there if I want, uh, exposure. So that's so cool. The main image, I want to add a little bit more exposure there a little bit of a contrast brightness and so on so on so like you see it's very very self-explanatory very easy to work on I think it's so cool that you could do this and you know just targeting different sections here of images that you want of course I can also add some green as well look at that the green actually looks pretty damn cool there let's go and add a little bit of green just like that and that's it so you're cool there I could go ahead and click OK see the image I could go ahead again look at that look at the differences and over here that was that that was what we were doing crop so if you want to crop this image like for example if I want to eliminate this you know this uh, like a little copyright thing I could go ahead and click there and uh, okay let me see yeah I don't want to damage the this image right there let's go and click there voila and this yeah I could still move it around so you see there this is not gonna be permanent until I finish the project so I wanted that that and that done like that that's cool I can also let me see I, I think I can also change the aspect ratio so if I want to do that work like that like that uh, Facebook ad Facebook cover 
uh, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Twitter cover. So look at that. That's really them codes. If you want to do a Twitter cover, that's how you could do it here. And all the changes are just going to be, you just do all the changes here and that's it. But right now I'm just going to turn this off, leave it like that. And of course, if I want to rotate the image really easily, want to mirror the image very easily as well. And same thing with flip. And of course, if you want to change the size of the this section right here, you could do it as well. But right now, this is all we wanted to do, and it actually resetted this. It's gonna reset that again right here. There you go. Right, and I'm gonna click OK, and that's it. So I'm gonna change that to that image. I'm gonna change it over here. Over here in the range. You got the canvas, you can change the canvas here, the background, you can add some colors to the canvas background, but we don't see that here right now. I'll change, and over here you could rotate, transparency, you can change the transparency of anything that you choose here on the screen. Like for example, I want to make that transparent, I can make that transparent there a little bit if I want. Uh, same thing over here, and so on, so on. So like you see there, this is a very cool application that lets you do photo editing. And most likely if you're doing photo editing for like thumbnails or, or art uh, banners for your Facebook or Twitter, this would be an awesome idea to, and an awesome program to use, which is totally free. And you don't need to install anything at all whatsoever. And it works very, very smooth. So once you're done, let's say you're already done here. This is the image that I want, right? Click save. Over here, you get change it to JPEG or uh, PNG or JPEG. Over here, you change the title, right? Let's go and choose um, testing Pixlr, right? Pixlr X and the image quality. I most of the times I put it to 100% high because I want the best quality image as possible. Over here, you can change the width of it and the height and the width, and click save, and that's it. So once the image is saved, right? Let's go and open it up. There it is. Look at that. The image is right here. So now you can choose this as your thumbnail if you want and you didn't spend any other penny whatsoever. So that's the cool thing about this software, which honestly I've been using lately because I like the way it looks and feels and how smooth it actually works, especially when you're adding um, images. It is so damn smooth, it is so damn smooth. So look at this, so easy to add images, to just move around, it's so easy. And of course, if you wanna delete stuff just like that, and so on so on and of course over here you can also see the layers that are beating being added to your project as you work so guys that's it for this video i just wanted to share the pixlr x free software that you can use for photo editing uh your thumbnails or banners for facebook or twitter and it's totally free and it works perfectly nice on any computer any browser as well of course the browser that i've been testing it on is the chrome browser and the edge browser the microsoft edge browser works very 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 smooth as well and of course always just make sure you um bookmark your page and that way you can always you know see the page here uh, once you're done since we already saved the image right you could go ahead and close uh, close and right now you could go ahead back here again and go ahead and start another project if you want go ahead and open another project and we can start doing another project over this as well making this your main image and closing and that's it that's all you got to do it's very very simple so just make sure you actually bookmark this that way, you know, that way you can always have this available in your browser and it's totally free. So guys, thanks for watching this video. I just want to share this uh, little tutorial for you guys because uh, if you're like me that don't like to use uh, like Photoshop or uh, um, those type of programs because they're, you know, expensive and a little bit hard to use, uh, I think Pixlr X is a very, very, very good option and it's totally free and it runs really, really smooth. So thanks for watching this video. Till next time, guys. Bye-bye.